Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and today I'm going to show you how to add your Microsoft authentication or login to your Moodle site. Notice um, this is Microsoft. All I need to do is click on it and I'm logged in as a user each and every time. So we're going to go into Azure Microsoft and this is where it starts. First of all, we need to get an account or in my case, sign in. Notice if you get started with Azure, it could be a bit confusing. Actually, it is. So you go for try Azure for free and it's going to be free forever. So I'm going to sign in and show you how you create your authentication method for Moodle. And here we are. All right. So again, confusing, right? So um, notice it says here, start with a free account. Uh, ignore the rest um, and everything else here, even though it's larger than anything else, you're going to go into app, not services, but app registrations, because that's what you want to do. You're going to go into that. Notice I've got a few of them under owned applications as well as under all applications, which are exactly the same. Next, I'm going to um, install a new one. OK, so I go into new registration at the top left there. And then notice here, unless you work for an organization and you're creating this for an organization, make sure that you hit this one so that users, whether they're in an organization by Microsoft or they have their personal Microsoft account, but they need to have a Microsoft account that's for them. Notice accounts in any organizational directory and personal Microsoft accounts. Super important that you hit that. Notice also you'll need to write a name. This is for you. So I am going to write Nelly Deutsch. That's the name of the website of the Moodle. This could be for any website, by the way, it could be not just for Moodle. So keep that in mind. It's the same process. Next, you're going to get the redirect. And notice they have an example here, which doesn't work for us on Moodle, but that's very kind of them. Notice you're going to select a platform and you're only going to select web. Make sure you don't select single because you're going to be in trouble and you'll have to do a lot of troubleshooting and fix it. So web and then you hit register. Now it's creating the application for Nelly Deutsch. That's the name application. It's also my name, but that's the name of the site. And notice you get this information under overview. Keep that in mind. Let's close that up. It's under overview. All right. And this is where you'll keep coming back to make changes if necessary and to get your credentials. Notice your credential is your ID. Very important. And there you can always copy these, but you just need your application ID. And then you need to create a credential for secret. Notice secret and redirect URLs. So I'm going to start with redirect URLs because that is so important. And this is where you go into the plus. Notice under settings, make sure that you disable everything. Just this will be there. And then save, important to save or it's not going to stick. So that's super important in the settings. Next, once that's been updated, you're going to go into the redirect. Now this is for Moodle. So this is how you do it. Now I just want to let you know that if you ever get stuck, go into ChatGPT or Gemini and just ask for the information that you need. Notice, copy the code. This is what you need. And you add your own Moodle site.com here. Going to do that for myself. So there, hit the direct. Now notice here again, you choose a web and only web. And this is where you add your redirect. So I'm going to just paste that and then add my site. And notice everything is perfect here. Now notice um, you ignore everything else. Now the front, you add your site, just your site without anything else. That's for the front channel logout URL. All right. And then you configure. That's it. Right. And then this may take a few more seconds since. Uh, OK, there we are. 
now it's okay and we've got it we can close that up and notice here it is we don't need to add anything else this is perfect right now we're going to go remember always go back to the overview to add anything else now here we are going to go to the display name and this is super important we're going to get a logo and then we'll add the home page which we already have i believe yes there it is and then we need and this is important terms of service url and privacy url they check these so make sure you add it or you can simply add and and if you want me to show you how to add that uh, let me show you how that's done very simple and you can also ask chat gpt or gemini or any other ai bought that you use to communicate with and they'll help you out but let me show you what that looks like now here is the nellydeutsch.com and notice the privacy this is what it looks like you need to first of all have guests enabled on your moodle site so that uh, the bot can come in and check that's microsoft azure can check to make sure that the privacy link is correct and this is how it's done you can copy mine as well and <laughs> just add your information it's all very generic and exactly the same then notice the uh, terms of service also generic i'm going to go back here and notice um we'll add the terms first of all the privacy that's the one i got and then save ignore all the information that's down here you don't need to worry about it now we've got this back to the overview so we've done that and now we're going to go into the secret now this is unbelievably not user friendly so let me take you through it so you don't make the mistakes that i made so now i'm going to hit plus client right the description is um i can write nelly deutsch moodle or whatever you want to write now notice here expires now they make recommendations but you don't want to keep changing or you know changing the uh, duration all the time so i go for seven you know 24 two years i mean that's enough and then add don't forget to add and wait for that to happen now that was pretty easy right intuitive just fine now the difficult part for moodle is this first of all the value disappears so make sure you copy it and put it somewhere safe where you know where it is or you can do it again but it'll disappear and notice uh secret id is wrong that's not what you need for your moodle you need the value and that's not intuitive this is the ridiculous part so it says secret ignore it go into value that's what you need you need two so value is one and then i'm going to go back to my site so i can show you how that works but i have to log in as the admin first of course so i'll do that next i'm going to go to site administration and server scroll down until under server until i get to authentication oa uth2 service you go into my and then client id and secret secret i already have right so i know that's that let me show you where to get the client id even though i'll keep saying this and <laughs> if you do something else if you actually get the secret id and you add that it's not going to work so you can try it but it won't work so the value next you're going to, again to the overview because you want the id and there is the id just copy to clipboard go back to your moodle site paste it here and then notice um everything is it just comes in on its own you don't have to do anything which is wonderful and then require email verification that's up to you i'm going for our sake just go into save changes here and then uh, here it is to make sure that it worked takes me here next continue next notice it says unverified don't worry about that and there we are in we're going to go into the login and there it is and there you notice i'm in that's it that's how easy it is that's authentication for you using microsoft if you're interested in other authentication such as facebook google of course linkedin or yahoo i have videos on that so let me know in the comment box and i will share them with you. Have a great day. Happy moodling and questions are always welcome.